hey guys welcome back to the next video and in this video I will share um, some information again related to styling but this time we will be touching the layout part right we will just try to do some styling over here just so that you know how you can do the styling over here like uh, coloring up the background and all so by default you can get a lot of information about dcc.graph when you use the help like i have shown you earlier how you can use the help but over here let's say if you want that uh, you want to style up the elements so layout is basically your part where you need to do that so let's say you want to change the background color so for example you have plot underscore pg color and initially you may need to do the experiment about it about what it is doing because you have plot background color and then paper background color so let's do that um plot pg color and it is uh, basically let's say we want some hexadecimal color so uh maybe blue this time so blue or gray gray hexadecimal code light gray i think this should be good this should be good all right so i'll just go and put it right simple um so that's one um another thing i will maybe show is paper pg color and over here it's just that a comma is needed so once we are done with this um, you have uh, the option of uh, changing the font color as well so what you can do is after you can simply say font and uh, again you need to use the curly brackets so there are like a lot of curly brackets initially you may find it a bit daunting but soon you will find that uh, it all makes sense so color maybe I'll just take red I will not experiment with too many colors it will be full of colors then all right so once it is there then uh, you can basically go ahead and execute it so let me execute it everything is fine let me execute it again Oh, I did not interrupt the kernel, so let me interrupt it again. I hope it should work quickly. So, interrupt. Yeah. Let me execute this and execute this again. And see this. Alright, so what we see over here is the background. The red color over here of the type tool that we needed. Yeah, red color over here. So all of this information is red so maybe what we can do is let's simply try to change uh, one of the colors over here so plot color paper color let's change paper color to let's say um, maybe blue so that it is clearly indicating green aqua white let's say aqua I love aqua so I will just go and interrupt and I will say paper this execute execute and see now so now you see the difference this is basically your paper color that we changed right paper color and plot background color so your plot background color is gray and your paper color is is your basically outside area but here it is not that much visible because we just use the same thing so that's why I mentioned you need to do a bit of an experiment to to use it here so that's quickly I wanted to show you how you can do this kind of formatting in your chart and I'll meet you in the new video the new topic